Today on Space Stars. Space Ghost! Space Ghost, Jan, Jace, and Blip find themselves in a deadly trap set for them by a cosmic criminal. Then, a teen horse matches superpowers with the evil Uglor and his army of apes. The Herculoids face certain doom from a deadly alien. Coming up next on Space Stars. Space Stars! A galaxy of heroes teamed together in an interstellar battle against evil. Blast off on adventures as big as the cosmos itself. Race, poised on the edge of time with Space Ghost and his young friends. Straight through the universe with Space Ace, Astro, and the Space Mutts as they spring into action. And somewhere deep in space, Super Danger threatens the Teen Force. Join the famed Herculoids in their new battles to preserve peace on the planet Quasar. Now get set for 60 laser blasting minutes of action, adventure, fun on Space Stars. Some of 21st century man's most wonderful creations can be produced only in gravity-free space laboratories. At one of these space labs, where the galaxy's only lucidium crystals are grown, a sudden and unwelcome visitor arrives. Without warning, tongues of solar flame sear the space lab's dome. Then, a tractor beam robs the lab of its precious cargo. Meanwhile, on the planet Quasar, the Space Ghost team helps the Herculoids lend a hand to a friend in a sticky situation. Easy now, big one. Soon you will be free. Ready when you are, Sandor. Now, Space Ghost. Easy, my friend. Easy. He says, thank you. Our pleasure, Xandor. That's the emergency distress signal. Let's go. Adios, Xandor. What is it, Space Ghost? Some space labs have been attacked by a strange ship. Probably space pirates. <laughs> Not this time, Jace. This ship is bypassing some labs and attacking others. Space Ghost, look! Hang on, we're going to intercept. Chan, put up the force field. Force field on. Space Ghost, we're stopping. It's a cosmic ray storm. Our engines don't have the power to beat it. Those rays are punching through our force field. Now we're in big trouble. So are all the people in that space lab. We're heading right at it. Go to Invisible Power and bail out. I'll steer past the lab. Hey, let go. Jan, Jace. us. That is the trouble with humans. Always so emotional, but we will soon change that. Who are you? I am Cubus, and my mission is to save this orderly and logical universe from the human race. And just how do you plan to do this? I am not personally going to do it. My leader is. Meet Ultima. Ultima is all wise. 
Ultima tells us how to live logically, freed from useless emotions. Sounds like a lot of laughs. Now, with the aid of these rare substances from your space labs, Ultima will reprogram all human minds in the universe to think as Ultima does, and you shall be its first subject. Animal now. It is the humans we want. Ultima, all is ready. There. Now, how do you feel? We do not feel, Master. Excellent. Now find your little pet and bring him to me. Yes, yes Cubus. Cliff, are you okay? Good. Help me get inside that cube ship. <laughs> well done, Blip. But where are Jace and Jan? We are here, Space Ghost. Good. You're all right. Or are you? You will come with us now. Do not resist. Guys, I don't know what they've done to you, but I'm going to undo it fast. Let's go, Blip. Trouble ahead, Blip. Blip, go to invisible power. Guess you're never too old to play with blocks. Uh-oh! End of the line, Space Ghost. We can't risk hurting them, Blip. We'll have to surrender. So you are the great Space Ghost. Compared to the greatness of Ultima, you are nothing. You call this great? Forcing others to think and act as you do? I call it slavery. Call it what you will. You are helpless to stop it. We'll see about that. What? Well, what happened? Space Ghost. I'll tell you as soon as I finish off this computer. Save your energy, Space Ghost. You are too late to stop Ultima. Then there will no longer be humans. Yeah. They'll be two-legged computers, just like we were. Not if I can help it. What is it, Ultima? You are not making sense. Come on, Blip. Let's make tracks. Space Ghost, you got Ultima brainwashing its own brain. And it couldn't happen to a nicer computer. But what about Cubus? Well, knowing how much he hates emotional displays, at least he won't go away mad. Space Magic with Jan and Flip. Would you like me to show you a magic trick with those cards? <laughs> All right, Flip. Now pay close attention. Now, pick a card. Any card. <laughs> now look at your card, but don't show me. And remember what it is. Now put it back anywhere you like. Fine. Now I mix them up. And by picking up the magical waves from your card, I can tell which one you chose. Aha! Uh -huh. And here's your card, the Ace of Hearts. How did I do it? It's easy, Blip. 
You use a deck with pictures on the back, all arranged in the same direction. And then you just turn the pack around. And the card you chose is the only one whose picture is upside down. <laughs> See you later, Flip. You know, I think you need some more practice. And now, today's space fact. Sometimes I think I could stare into space forever. The stars are so beautiful. That they are, Jan. Just exactly what are stars, Space Ghost? And how are new ones formed? Do they last forever? Older Jace, one question at a time. To answer your first question, a star is a large ball made up of different gases, predominantly hydrogen. When a star is surrounded by a planetary system, it is called a sun. Stars are born when large masses of hydrogen and other gases floating in space eventually pull together, finally becoming a glowing red star. As it ages and grows hotter, the star changes color. For billions of years, a star sends its energy into space until it burns itself out or becomes so hot that it goes into what is called nova and explodes. Wow, stars are beautiful and fascinating. Really? I wish I could see a star close up. That might present a problem, <laughs> but not for Blip. Yeah, looks like he's found his favorite star right here. <laughs> <laughs> we now return to our program. A lone scout ship bearing down on Uglos headquarters on Eurus, out of control. Our approaching ship is not one of ours. I know that ship. Summon the emergency crews at once! But, sire, it could be a free world spy! Don't question me! Obey! Koromon! Did you find the word star? The coordinates are on this memory circuit. At last! Total power over the universe will be mine! Meanwhile, at Black Hole X, gateway to our dimension for the Teen Force. Electra, what are you doing? Let's come over her. Electra! I just received some kind of psychic message. It's urgent. You mind telling us where we're going? To the planet Maclovia. I never even heard of it. Neither have I. Well, here we are. What do we do now that we're here? We've got to meet somebody. I believe you're referring to my humble self. Who are you? I have gone by many names. You may know me as Ananda. You're the one who goes around sending psychic telegrams. Mind your tongue. We face great dangers today, all of us. Behold! <laughs> the word star. It lies in the Polar Nebula, the place where all life in the universe began. So what's that got to do with us? <laughs> Would you care to know who is heading for the Polar Nebula at this very moment? Uglor! If he gets the word star, he would have the entire universe groveling at his feet in seconds. We'd better get to Polara fast. <laughs> Much depends on your success, Teen Force. More than you know. <laughs> there it is, the Polara Nebula. The Team Force! How did you know to come here? Oh, just an inspired guess. Well, your inspiration just ran out. Follow that ape! Aha! Mini planets! The word star must be on one of them. Look out! The 
word star is mine, for the Team Four Star no more! <laughs> Oh, somebody ought to revoke Uglor's driver's license. Come now, Moleculad. There is much work to be done. But I've got to find the others. No time. Every second brings Uglor closer to the word star. Hey, you got us into this. It's your magic rock. Save it yourself. Those who are evil will easily believe in illusion. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> The one you seek is over there. <laughs> Plutum! Flax! Come on, we've got to stop Uglor! That Ananda is a royal pain. Why does that look familiar? It almost looks like the word star. Those who are evil will easily believe in illusion. Aha! I'll bet I could use my molecular energy to make a fake word star. But Ananda, what do I do after that? You will understand when you get there, but you must make haste. <laughs> you two little pests! And one big pest, Uglar! Beware, Electra. No one can use the word star without succumbing to its dark side. Well, that goes double for Uglor. There! The word star is mine. Nothing can keep me from getting the word star. What's up? I have the word star. Look, it's alive! What do we do now? That pulsar might do the trick. I'll distract him, Electra, while you do your thing. Now, Electra! <laughs> Looks like it's time for me to fake Uglor out! <laughs> now, Wordstar! Destroy the Team Force! Destroy them! Destroy them! Me. Tell me where the real word star is, or I'll drop you both in. Uglor! It's right here, Uglor! Ah! You know better than to oppose me now, Uglor. Destroy him, Electra! We could be rid of Uglor once and for all! The whole galaxy could be free! No! That's exactly what he would have done to us. Here, Ananda. You may have it back. Excellent, Teen Force. You have succeeded admirably in your test. Yes? Because you refuse to use the Word Star's power on another living being, even a Glor, you have proved your moral strength. Yeah, but in the meantime, Uglor's still gonna tyrannize the galaxy. In season, his power will pass. Creatures like Uglor are part of the plan, for they make people like you even stronger. Goodbye, Ananda. And thanks. Time for a space mystery with Space Ghost and Blip. We've got to hurry, Blip, or we'll be late for the special meeting of the United Worlds. The United Worlds, where alien peoples from all across the galaxy meet to maintain intergalactic peace. <laughs> the United Worlds will be addressed by a special alien guest today, Blip. Let's hear what he has to say. My intergalactic friend, I am Shagog, a humble traveler from a distant planet who has come to this world seeking your help. I beg you to hear my story and then to do what your hearts tell you is right and just. I am an immigrant from a doomed planet, a world with a dying sun. Our sun has grown old and is turned red hot. 
sending its unbearable heat to my world, making it impossible to live there. Thus, my people had no choice but to leave our home world before our old and dying red sun reduced it to a burnt out cinder. And so, we became a race of wanderers with no planet to call home, which is why I have come to you. I beg you to receive my people on this planet as friendly immigrants, to put aside all of this world's defensive weapons and to take my people in as brothers. Hmm, so Shagog's people come from a world with a dying red sun, eh? Come on, Blip, we're going to check out these friendly immigrants. Look there, Blip. It seems like my hunch was right. Chagog's so-called immigrants are really a fleet of battleships. How did I know that Chagog lied? Well, Blip, you might say that I caught him red-handed. Did you notice the same clues Space Ghost did? Stay tuned and find out. And now, the answer to today's space mystery. So, my friends, will you shut down your defenses and welcome us? Hold it. Ask Shagog why friendly immigrants would come here in battleships. How did you know? You told me, Shagog, when you described your red sun as old and hot. Red suns are always young and cool. And you, Shagog, will have plenty of time to cool in the galactic penitentiary. We now return to our program. How long before we touch down? About six minutes, Trapper. Everything I've heard about Quasar is true. We'll get enough animals here to fill our quota. In the heat of an afternoon on the planet Quasar, the Herculoids venture out in search of fuel. These energy rocks will make good cooking fuel. Tara, Dorno, help me gather them. No, Igu, no! You have to handle these energy rocks gently. See? Easy now, Igu. Easy. That's it, Igu. Good. Igu! <coughs> Are you all right? <laughs> Now, don't get mad, Igu. They didn't mean anything. We haven't been on this dog-bitten planet five minutes. I've already found three perfect, perfect specimens. I think we have enough energy rocks, Sandor. Sandor? Someone watches us. Who, Father? Their scent is strange, from another world. What in the... Tundro! Igo! Zuck! Set us free! Quickly! The animals are trying to free the humanoids. Activate the psychomodulator! Now! <laughs> Zuck! Tundro! What is wrong? Igu, are you all right? Perfect specimens, perfect specimens. Who are you? What have you done to these animals? I trap animals for an intergalactic circus. These three are just what I'm looking for. No, these animals are our friends. This is their home. That's too bad, lady. We're coming back now. There must be a way out of this. <clears throat> Thank heavens they didn't catch you two. Help free us, quickly. That trapper has Tundro, Zock, and Eagle. Come. 
We've got to stop the trapper. Trapper, trapper. You again. Our friends will stay. You will go. I don't think so. Take them. <laughs> No, we cannot harm our friends. I will not fight my own friends. There are better specimens on Quasar. But take these three if you must. Father, you can't let the trapper take them. I know, Dorno. A brute force will not stop these men. We must beat them with cunning. Thandor, the animals may be controlled by a machine. There was a humming sound when they went under the trapper's power. Then we will find the machine and destroy it. I have a plan, but we must work together. Sandor may have been lying. The more animals we bring back, the more money we make. What do you want? This jungle is dangerous, Trapper. You will need assistance. I know what I'm doing, Sandor. I don't need your help. And I wish you luck. You'll need it. Look out! <laughs> What are you doing, you? Stay down. Quasar is still wild, Trapper. You should be more careful. I think this is a waste of time. I haven't seen any new animals. I think Xandor is... Hey! As I told you, Trapper, must be careful. <laughs> what the... Now, Trapper, perhaps you will listen. Nearly an hour. I don't think that guard is ever going to move, unless I make him move. Don't worry, Igu. We'll get you out of this. Now, which one of these devices controls the animals? Surrender, guard, and no harm will come to you. Free the animals, Trapper, and leave Quasar, or I will destroy your mind control device by destroying your ship. And you wouldn't want to be trapped here now, would you? And Juppy, seize the creatures. The rest of you, attack, attack! <laughs> So that's the cycle, Marculator. Glue? No! Not me! Cannot resist them much longer. Soon it will be a choice between our friends or us. Come on, get away from there. It worked before. My friends are free from your power trapper. Hercules! Let's run for it! It is good to have you back again, my friends. Do you think the space chopper will return again, Father? I doubt it, son. Quasar was not to his liking. Come, um, let us go home. The Herculoids resumed their life on Quasar with its infinite dangers and freedom.
Coming up next on part two of Space Stars. A terror from deep space threatens the Space Ghost team with destruction. Space Ghost! Then, a mission of mayhem sends Astro and the Space Muts up against a most unusual foe. And the Space Star heroes combine their superpowers to battle the ultimate force today on Space Stars. From the Intergalactic Code Center, Space Code. All of our code computers are running wild. Then somebody better shut them all off and fast. Only a danger to the entire universe could set off all those computers. But what does that code message mean? One comet, two moons, three suns, and five craters. Uglor will gain the power to conquer the entire universe. This code reveals the only thing that can stop him. You Earth kids can break the code with this clue. You won't be wrong if you count right. We now return to our program. Civilizations and worlds are born, they live, then die, becoming cold, empty wastelands. And other worlds, like the ultra-modern Glax-3, pass through mysterious and often bizarre changes. Glax-3, clone space ghost, emergency! We're being bombarded by energy beams here on planet Glax-3! Come in, General. Identify disturbance. We are unable to identify these signals, Space Ghost! Space Ghost? He's getting younger! Hurry, Space Ghost! There is no time... No time to waste now! <laughs> Heading for Glax-3! Let's move it! There's a mean-looking satellite. Maybe that's where those beams came from. Hey, this place is dead. Where is everybody? That's what we have to find out. It's like the whole planet went back to primitive times. This mining pick isn't so primitive. This has to be a mine entrance. Someone's been here. Chase, Jan, get behind me! Space Ghost, what, what is it? I've never seen anything like it! Look out! It's coming back! This'll hold him up for a while! What's that you found in the mine, Blip? This is Luxor, the most rare and precious metal in the universe. That's strange. It was mined out centuries ago. Centuries ago? Maybe someone has reversed time on Glax-3 in order to mine the Luxor. Sure, that would explain everything. But who? Maybe we'll find some answers in those satellites. Come on! Space Ghost, what's happening? That's what I want to find out. Space Ghost, you've destroyed one of my time satellites, but you won't get another chance. And there's no way you can stop me from using all this Luxor to become master of the cosmos. Chase! Ten. Follow quickly. We'll find out where these satellites came from. We're on your tail, SG. Coming up port side, Space Ghost. Let's follow them home. So you want to come home, do you, Space Ghost? Then I shall give you a welcome you'll never forget. 
We are entering Star Sector Pentor, the realm of Tempest, the Time Master. Look at that! What a beautiful planet! That's Kronos, the timepiece planet. A squadron of warships coming up from Kronos! Activate force field. Looks like Tempest is about to show his true colors. Force field on! Tempest has us locked into a time beam. Time is slowing, coming to a stop. Set them on the prison discs. Take space ghost belt and wristbands just in case. This will free you from frozen time. Time seems to be your specialty, Tempest. Silence! Why, Tempest? Why did you reverse time on Glax 3? For the Luxor, of course. I need it for my new weapon, a Time Shredder. Time Shredder? Yes, I will shred the past and the future. And you, Space Ghost, won't even be here to do anything about it. Space Ghost! I'll take you on, Tempest, but leave my young friends out of it. No, Space Ghost. They are entering my Universal History screen. I've dialed in a past catastrophe, and you're going to be there. That's Vesuvius on planet Earth, the volcano that destroyed Pompeii thousands of years ago. Space Ghost, we're sliding onto the volcano, into the past! Enjoy the eruption, my friends. Pompeii is due to explode any second. We can't fly, Jan. Our powers don't work in the past. And Space Ghost can't help us either. Destroy that animal! <laughs> Good work, Flip. Stop! It's Space Ghost! Excellent try, Space Ghost, but you can't stop the flow of history! Perish with all the people of Pompeii! Stop time for a second. I want to savor this moment. And now to let time run its course. Too late, Space Ghost. No, not that. You'll break the time freeze. No, stop. Somebody stop me. Our time's run out, Tempest. We dialed Glax 3 back into the present, Space Ghost. A splendid performance, Space Ghost. We are all grateful. Glad my crew and I could be of help, General. Tempest's evil scheme to control, manipulate, and to shred time has been foiled through the timely feats of... Space Ghost! Space Code Part 2. Only one thing can stop Uglor from conquering the entire universe. And that secret weapon is in the coded message, one comet, two moons, three suns, five craters. Here's another clue. Start with what's left and you'll go right. This may seem like just another quiet day in the lives of Space Ace and the Space Mutts. But on the interstellar beat of cosmic crime, you never know what danger lies ahead. Hey, Acey, I sure could go for a space dog at Burke's drive-in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could sure handle one of those fuller thumbs. Oh, yeah, with a Cosmilk shake and a side of Infra Fries. I'm sold, guys. Let's go for it. Hi, Rita. Hiya, Acey. What's cooking? 
Well, I get off early this afternoon, and I was wondering if you might... Come in, Space Ace. Urgent. Galactic Vac is back. I repeat, Galactic Vac is back. Galactic, Galactic Vac, Vac is back? Affirmative. And he's vacuuming up a storm. Maybe we should g g get out of here. Oh, Space. Could this be Galactic Vac's greedy suction winds? Has he more in mind than just a snack? Hey, Acey, it's Galactic Vac. Let's get him. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Easily said, Dip! We've got to get out of these suction winds first! Astro, fire the afterburners! Not the smoke screen, Astro! No problem, AC. Astro! Oh, boy, oh, boy, I blew it again, I did. Yeah, yeah. Astro! So, Galactic Back is truly back. I'm starting to feel like a toothbrush. Shh, shh. Welcome, welcome. Ah, space ace. At last, we meet. Galak, Galak, Galak. Silent. Have cooked canine cup to the treadmill generators with you. Make sure you work like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have special plans for you, Space Ace. You will be my slave. No way, Vac. I think your brains have been vacuumed once too often. <laughs> Not funny. You, Space Ace, will help me make a clean sweep of the universe. <laughs> I want it all! My cyclotron will sizzle your brains. This electronic cylinder will make you a robot. I think these treadmills make electricity for all Max gadgets. Hey, I stopped it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's jammed. The treadmill is stopped. It's those dumb dogs again. <laughs> hey, pal, those are my partners you're talking about. You've had it back. Give it up while you can. Shh. Bold words. Go, Space Ace. Be a fool on the treadmills. Go to the dogs. <laughs> You know, I've always wanted to take up jogging, but never had the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, AC, look at me. I see you, Astro. I really do. Now listen carefully. Go to that control panel and find the button that opens these cages. Okay, AC. Will do. Yeah. Win a few, lose a lot. <laughs> One good turn deserves another. <laughs> You're a dirty guy, Vac. Why, thank you, Space Ace. And have a nice trip. My suction console! No! What now, Spacey? Let's go for it, AC! Yeah! Take your pick, Astro. It can't get any worse. You fools! You've pushed the reverse suction pack! Now you've had it back! Save me! AC, look what's coming! Welcome aboard, guys. 
It's Vac. Grab the tanky space. Galactic Vac, you're gonna clean up this mess. All this unclean stuff I swept up must go. I promise I won't do it again. Nice work, pal. And now the final clue to this week's space code. The secret of defeating Uglor is hidden in this mess. You can break the code if you let each number tell how many letters to count in on each word. Let's hope we're not too late. The Teen Force, Space Ghost, and the Herculoids all team up next on Space Stars. We now return to our program. Near a neutron galaxy far, far away, Uglor the Invincible is about to unleash his ultimate plan of conquest. Only once every million years does a neutron galaxy appear in the universe. And now I have found one. Once its cosmic energies pour into my body, I will become the universe itself. <laughs> Such pain. Could I have been wrong? It worked! Now at last! <laughs> now the universe is mine! <laughs> the accursed Black Hole X, home of the meddling Teen Force. It's time I put the squeeze on them! Oh, we made that just in time. I'll say. Any idea what's going on? I'm sure it has something to do with Uglor. Something big. It's something big, all right. <laughs> it's Uglor! But that's impossible! Impossible or not, that scooter's scrap metal. And I'm going to stop him before he does the same to us. This'll knock him out of the universe. <laughs> I am the universe! For you, my dear! Oh! Uglor's never been so powerful. What are we gonna do? There's nothing you can do, teen twerps. I'm in control now. <laughs> At that same moment on Quasar, home of the Herculoids, Dorno is returning from a journey when... <laughs> yes, I see it, Gleep. It's a Vegasaur. Don't let his size fool you. He's harmless. <laughs> An energy rock. Look out, Zock. <laughs> Good thinking, Gleep. I owe you one. <laughs> Zuck's danger cry. Let's go. Gundro, <laughs> Igu, use plan nine. <laughs> Why did it attack? Because I am controlling it like a puppet. Uglor, you fiend. I a fiend? <laughs> Uglor is gone. The danger's past for now. Herculoids! Look! Electra of the Teen Force. No, a telepathic projection. We need your help, Herculoids. Somehow, Uglor is becoming all powerful. Soon, there won't be anything he can't do. And we have but one hope, and it is here on Quasar, the Cosmic Cone. So what is this Cosmic Cone anyway, Electra? No time to explain now, kid. Look! Watch out! It's too late! Wherever it is, I'll bet my track shoes it's Uglor's doing. 
Congratulations! You win a Cupid doll! No, two Cupid dolls! <laughs> Uglor, stop it! Relax! I have not destroyed them! I'm having too much fun to destroy anyone! Yet! <laughs> We've got to get out of here! But how? He's all around us. But maybe not under us. <laughs> Way out. Lucky for us, Uglor still makes mistakes. He's still not sure how to use his powers. Let's hope we can get to Quasar before he figures them all out. <laughs> Father, where is the cosmic cone of which you speak? The abandoned city of the ancients. We are nearly there. Strange, Uglor hasn't tried anything for hours. Maybe the big ape has given up. Oh! Oh, no, no. Father! Father! <laughs> Pigo, help Dorno! Feed me! Feed me! <laughs> Dorno! Igu! Don't worry, Mother! Igu gave him his famous plant punch! <laughs> Stand back, Dorno! Quick, Tundro! Help me clear a path! Good work. Now let's hurry. There's no telling what Uglor will do next. Hang on. Quasar's close now. I get the sudden feeling that Uglor's a lot closer. You're right. Look. He's throwing us a cosmic storm. <laughs> so you want to play ball, eh? Aching back. I'm not letting Uglor kick me around anymore. Maybe we won't have to. There's Quasar. No, there's Quasar. Two Quasars? Uglor's trying to confuse us. My powers tell me neither of them are real. There's the real Quasar. Uglor has created the illusion that it's a dead world. Then let's move before Uglor grows strong enough to make it really happen. There it is. The abandoned city of the ancients. But where's the teen force? We cannot wait for them any longer. We must go. <sighs> you won't go alone, Herculoids. The teen force! You made it! Just barely, Dorno. If we fail, the universe falls. There's a bunch of signs up ahead. But they all claim to point towards the cosmic cone. More of Uglor's games. I know where the cone is. Follow me. In here, we must force the doors open. That's going to defeat Uglor? Sometimes very big things come in very small packages. How does it work? We make it work. Now, for the moment of truth. Oh, <laughs> too late! I am tired of toying with you. I have won, and you have lost. <laughs> Everyone, concentrate. We couldn't have done it without you, Herculoids. We couldn't have done it without each other, Team Force. Uglor is defeated, for now. Yes, Uglor has been defeated once again. But there is no rest for our heroes, for with great power comes great responsibility. The responsibility to continually protect the universe from evil.